it's been a while i haven't reviewed any heater or room heater space heater outdoor heater so today here i am heaters are an essential appliance that you either already own or at least you should own and that's because they are able to provide comfort during the winter months However, since heaters are such an important appliance that many people use within their homes, there are also a bunch of brands that sell them. The part that most people are confused about is which heater to get and thankfully heaters have gotten quite a lot better over the years. This review is going over the comfort zone course heater, the design and the way it Able to provide heat is one of the best always that a heater can truly output heat to a room. When it comes to the heat, this comfort zone heater does a pretty good job. There are two main heat settings which are low and high heat. There is also knob to adjust the heating setting and then the other dial can change the thermostat level. The max output of the lower heater setting is about 750 watts and that translates it into 2557 BTU. The high setting has a 1500 watt output and that's 5120 BTU. When it's come to our actual heat, this comfort zone quartz heater does a great job, but it does have its sitbacks. The great, the great part is that it has two quartz tubes, there are the mechanisms that heat up and then there is a fan within that actually pushes the heat out. It's not like a fan heater where you can feel the heat coming out of heater at a very first rate. There, that said, this definitely is a step up above an oil heater where the heat just radiates as where this heater actually pushes heat out with its fan. Having the heater on a low setting is going to be a useful for bedrooms as it is able to output enough heat that the heat can travel around the room. Instead of just a single direction, heating larger rooms is definitely going to require putting this heater on high such as living rooms, a garage or even a small patio. Using the heater within a large area will take it longer to heat the area and you are better off being near the heater if you are using it in a large area. As it can take a while for the heat to pass through the entire room, the power used with this comfort zone heater is going to vary depending on what setting you use with the heater and also where you are using it too. So we really can't give a clear answer on power uses. No assembly is required for this heater. It comes with everything that you need right out of the box. The power cord is 6 feet long and once you plug the heater into an AC outlet, you are ready to use it. To actually turn the heater on, you have to switch the right dial to either low or high. And then the left dial is used for adjusting the thermostat on the specific heat setting. Once the heater is on, the top orange light will come on indicating the, that it's turned on. If there is something that we found missing it would have to be a remote most heaters these days now use a remote but this one does not it can be a pain to get up to adjust or turn off the heater at the back of the heater is where there is a handle which makes it easier to move around the heater does make a quite a lot of noise when you First turn it on, then after a few minutes the noise goes down once it heats up. Not absolutely quiet, but you want less noise, then a lower setting will be able to quiet it down a bit. The outside parts of the heaters are made of plastic. The grill that covers the quartz tube is made of steel and overall this heater is well built and using the dial feels fine as they are not loose and neither is their trouble moving them around. Comfort Zone did a fine job when it 
came to safety with this header app. It has UL certification and that means it has gone through many safety tests. Some notable things are that it shuts off automatically if it were to tip over. Also, it turns off automatically if it overheads too. Then you you use the rack back reset switch to turn it back on. Another thing to take note of that if it is overheating, the bottom light will turn on. The heater has two heating settings that you are able to take advantage of either of them depending on your heating needs. With larger rooms, it's better to be next to the heater. And if it's a small heater with a slim form factor and lightweight, it's also easy to use with just two knobs controlling the heater. The structure of the heater is strong, but it has tech features such as auto shut off in case it tips over or overheats. This comfort zone heater is just a powerful job of providing an ample amount of heat and is of use for anyone looking for an effective heater and this for good price. So I recommend this product to you. Actually, I highly recommend. And this is all for my tools video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, do not forget to bell that notification icon so that I can notify you with my new videos whenever I upload them. Till then, see you.